Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Abigail. And we're going to show you how to multiply and divide fractions. How do we use multiplying and dividing fractions in real life? Well, for example, in cooking, you have to know how to double the recipe or cut it in half. So you have to learn how to multiply and divide fractions. In building as well, all the measurements of the floor and of the walls even. So first, I'm going to show you how to divide fractions, and then Michael will show you how to multiply them. Stay tuned for the videos. Hi, I'm Abigail, and I'm going to show you how to multiply and divide fractions. First, we're just going to read the problem so you know what it's about. An airplane covers 50 miles in one fifth hours. How many miles can the airplane travel in five hours? So first, I'm going to do the way that most of you probably know how to do it. And it is just five hours. You're going to divide it by one fifth, but we're going to put this over one because it makes it the same value. It's just easier to multiply and divide fractions using it over one. We can always put a whole number over one to make it um, the same. So. This is our five hours, and it's divided by our one fifth hours to n know how many one fifth hours are in five hours. So if we divide them, we're going to use this simple strategy called leave it, change it, flip it. And all you do is you leave the first fraction over one. Instead of dividing, we're going to change it to a multiplication sign and flip the last fraction. We're going to do five. On the, on the top, and then the 1 on the bottom. We're just going to multiply straight across. 5 times 5, 25. 1 times 1, 1. And we all know that if it's over 1, then it can also be a whole number, which is 25. So we know there are 25 1 fifth hours in 5 hours. So we need to take that 25 from our problem, here's our 25, those two numbers, and then we need to multiply it by our 50 miles. So let's go back over, and we need to multiply 25 by 50. 5 times 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, bring down your 0. 5 times 5 is 25, carry your 2. 2 times 5 is 10, with your 2 more is 12, and then you just add it, is 1,250. So an airplane can travel 1,250 miles in 5 hours. Okay, so that's the first way that we can do it, but we can also do it using our 8 steps for model drawing. First, we're going to read the entire problem, which we've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. And then we're going to decide who is involved in the problem, which since we don't have a human or a person, it's going to be airplane. And then our what is going to be our miles, because that's what we are talking about. So we got done our who and our what. Draw unit bars of equal length. So what we're going to do here, we know that there are going to be, if there's five hours, and then the there's one fifth in each of these. There's five sections in each of these. So there's five sections, there's five sections, there's five, and there's five. So that's 25 sections. And we know that this is 50 miles. An airplane can cover 50 miles in one fifth hours. So what we need to do is there's 25 one fifth then we need to do 25 times 50. 
So there's where our question mark will go, this whole thing. We do 25 times 50. 5 times 0, 0. 2 times 0, 0. 5, I'm sorry, 0. 5 times 5, 25. 2 times 5, 10. Plus your 2 more, 12. So our answer is 1,250. So, answer the problem in a complete sentence. What we're going to do is an airplane can travel 1,250 miles in five hours. And that answers our question, so we know we are done. Thank you for watching. I hope it helped. Hi, my name is Michael, and I'm going to show you how to divide fractions today. A class and banner requires 5 6 feet of material. How many class banners can be made out of 12 feet? I'm going to give you steps. First, you put in 12 over 1 because the fraction bar means to divide. Then you place a division sign after it. Oh, you put 5, 6 at the end. Now solve the problem using the strategy I'm going to teach you called Leave It, Change It, Flip It. First, um, for Leave It, Change It, Flip It, you just leave the, the 12 over 1. And then you change the division sign to multiplying and then flip it as in and putting 6 over the 5 and now multiply it like you normally would which uh, 12 times 6 equals 72 and 1 times 5 equals 5 now as you can notice that is an improper fraction so I'm the 72 divided by 5 equals, uh, well, se well, 7 divided by 5 equals 1. So you track 5, and you got 2 left over. And then you bring the 2 down, and 5 goes into 22 four times. Then you have the remainder of 2 which means uh, 72 over 5 equals almost 14 and 2 fifths. And that is how you divide fractions. Thank you for watching.